This is the Seed Studio Xiao SP32 C3. This is a microcontroller that Seed Studio sent me to test it. The Xiao SP32 C3 is a microcontroller based on SP32 C3 CPU. It's a 32 bit RISC V CPU with support for Bluetooth 5.0, Bluetooth Mesh, and Wi Fi 2.4 GHz that supports station mode, soft AP mode, soft AP and station mode, and promiscuous mode. It has an ultra small size with 21mm by 17.5mm, ideal for projects with little space like Internet of Things and wearables. It has multiple interfaces like UART, I2C, I2S, SPI, ADC and multiple GPIO. And like the Xiao NRF52840, it's also breadboard friendly with no components in the back. On the power field it only consumes 44 microamps in deep sweep mode. And like the Xiao NRF52840, has a built-in lithium battery charger. For this project I will control a Lego train. I will use the Xiao sp 32 c 3 to connect to the train. I will also use a Wemos D1 Mini for the controller. On the train side the power is supplied by the 9V train power box. From this box it connects to two AMS1117. One converts to 5V and the other to 3.3V. With this I have 3 power rails, a 9V, a 5V and a 3.3V. Although the Xiao has a battery connector, I want to use only one power source, so I power it by the USB-C connector. The Xiao sends the signal to a L293D motor driver that controls the train motor, through a logic level converter that converts the 3.3V signal to a 5V signal. On the controller side, I have a Wemos D1 Mini that receives the speed by a potentiometer and the duration by a switch. It also shows the actual speed on a 0.96 inch SSD 1306 LCD. These components are all powered by the Wemos, that is powered by his micro USB connector. Usually, the Lego train control has multiple parts a remote controller, a battery box, an IR receiver, and a motor. With one remote, it's possible to control 8 trains, changing the transmit channel. For this project, the first step is to solder the shell headers. This will permit to place it on a perf board easily and use it in the future. When solder pins on the ship, they must be soldered interweaved to avoid overheating in the components. Next step is make the prototype. This is made following the initial sketch. In this case, this is the prototype for the controller. Next is time for the perf board. When prototyping a project, first I create a manual perf board circuit for quiz testing, and after all is checked, I make the final PCB. One important step of making the perf board is checking for short circuits between pins. One cool feature on the perf boards are the fact that it can be snapped easily. For the enclosure, I used Autodesk Fusion 360 and printed all in PLA on a 3D printer. Next is time for start the assembly. Again, being a prototype, it can be all fixed with hot glue. I also print a label in resin to easy understand of the buttons. For doing the label, I use Autodesk Fusion 360 and sheet box for slicing. The final step is testing all. On the train connect part, I place it on a small proto board that will be placed on top of the train. In future, when making the final PCB, one important feature will be to fit inside of the train. To power the Xiao, I use a micro USB cable cut in half. To check the pin out and see what is VCC and ground, in this case the easy way is tested on the USB side and not on the micro USB side because the size of the plug. In USB pin out, the VCC is the pin at the right and the ground the pin at the left. 
in this case is the head and back cables. After the cable is identified, it's time to place the pond headers for easy connect to the proto board. Finally, I place a micro USB to USB-C converter to connect to Xiao and test it. Finally, it's time to attach the connector to the train and test it. The controller connects to Wi-Fi and sends the speed and direction using MQTT server. The connector also connects to Wi-Fi, to the same MQTT topic, reads the info and applies it. Because the potentiometer is analog and linear, and because the standard Lego train speeds are 7, I create 7 intervals on the potentiometer range. Only change the speed when change the interval. All the code will be available on my GitHub account for download. I have another project that you may like. Don't forget to check it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video. Thanks to Seed Studio for sending this microcontroller to test it and make a project with it. I hope you like this project. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.